day to everyone. I am Joel Terence Pereira from the Department of Commerce, Milagres College, Hampankata, Mangalore. I am here before you to talk about a topic that is autocratic leadership. In human resource management, where we say that a manager is always a leader, and in manager, various types of leadership styles we find. Different different managers have got different different styles of their leadership. Now, in that one of the leadership style that is autocratic leadership, we will see about what is autocratic leadership as it is given in the presentation here. Autocratic leadership, also known as authoritarian leadership, is a leadership style characterized by individual control over all decisions and little input from group members. In autocratic leadership, the manager he doesn't consider any opinion from his group members or even thus even though he considers the opinion it is only for a namesake since the word is mentioned over here it is like a authoritarian leadership where manager himself takes all the decision or the leader himself takes all the decisions doesn't take the opinion of his fellow mates or his team members or the employees those are working under him so this is called as the autocratic leadership this autocratic leadership many of the times it is beneficial to the growth of the company or to the growth of the organization but also in certain cases it is also a disadvantage to the company also so what are the pros and cons of autocratic leadership that we will see in the next slide first we will see what are the pros when urgent decisions needed to be made quickly with the responsibility falling on the top person in charge there is no need to get input from their team members. Suppose in the time of emergency, if you have to take an urgent decision, so a manager did not wait for an opinion from his subordinates, from the lower level of employees or his entire team itself. He can take his own decision over here. This is the first and foremost benefit of autocratic leadership. When work performance needs to be closely monitored, keeping a watchful eye on employees ensures Tasks are performed efficiently and effectively. Here the employees will have a few. Okay, whatever the leader or whatever the manager says it is final. We cannot speak a word in front of him or in front of that manager. So they will have a mindset, clear mindset that okay, the manager may come and visit our workplace at any time and we have to report to the manager. So they will have that kind of feeling in their mind. So uh, this will increase the productivity of a company or the firm. Now we'll see what are the disadvantages. First one is not giving employees a voice in the matter, company matters is bound to be dampen morale, decreases productivity and send them searching for other opportunities. Obviously here the employees will have a feeling that our opinions are not considered, our suggestions are not valued. So the employees will have a clear mindset over there. They are contribution to the company it is not valued so they will lose interest in the company's affairs and obviously they will start searching for a new job and they will try to deviate or diversify themselves from the company and its affairs an effective leader needs to be flexible and adaptable to change autocratic leaders might be resistant to to this because they are so used to doing things one way because whenever a leadership style changes or in fact the environment company environment is changed as the years pass on the working style the technology and many things will change within the uh, company premises but what will happen a leadership style may not change over here because a authoritarian leader or autocratic leader he was used to it he may not be able to adapt the change even though the subordinates the employees and all other team members they may be expecting a change in the leadership style of an uh, manager but he may not be able to change himself over there since he is used to it this is one more uh, disadvantage of autocratic leadership next one is employees who are proactive and knowledgeable about their role could find it challenging to work in an environment that doesn't encourage contribution of their best skills one more one more time we are hearing to the point that is when an employee is talented or he may be having a skill but that may not be encouraged due to the leadership style 
the authoritarian leadership style of a manager or a leader so what will the employee feel okay my suggestion is not valid over here my skills they are not encouraged so this is not a good place for me to work over here i need to search something else so employees once again will start thinking of leaving the organization so this is one more disadvantage of autocratic or authoritarian leadership thank you one and all